go out <laughs> and look for the best way not to do so, and that's to study young children. <laughs> that's how I keep myself down. Uh, I refer myself as a parent, a researcher, and an advocate for children and families. And obviously, those two things, especially the research and the advocacy part, sometimes can pose problems. So I'm the first to admit that I try to be a good scientist, but I also try to be a good advocate. And there are times when the two, you know, can sort of uh, be at work ahead. I, I emphasize values. Now, uh, one of the things you will find on my, the first thing on my, on my slides, it's actually a statement that I take from Nicholas Hobbes, which has almost been my guiding principle through much of the work that I do. Because most of us you know, have wonderful insights and ideas about children, and we spend a fair bit of our time trying to support and help children. But in doing so, Hobbes reminds us that actually we cannot actually support children, we cannot work for children without taking into consideration the family context in which children develop. The family, family itself is also located in its own family context, which is the community. Uh, and I know I'm talking to the converted already. It's always nice to talk to a group of people who are here because they are committed to the course. And so some of this will come across as things that you can easily sort of relate to. But for me, it is important to understand that we cannot support children without understanding the immediate or proximal or distal environments in which development occurs. So we should be working across all the, the, the domains, the family, the community, and society at large. Uh, I was a bit deliberate in choosing the word minding, so I was trying to look for a title for this presentation. And of course, the first thing that comes to mind is mind. And I wanted us to keep children in our minds. But of course, you know, what I mean here is basically drawing attention to the earliest years of children's lives. Uh, and I look at the word values as an important thing that I don't see a whole lot uh, in our conversations about children, especially among researchers, because sometimes we think that to be an objective scientist, you have to be above values. You have to deal with objectivity and not subjectivity. And one of those scholars who have actually accepted that I have broken that rule, because I really don't believe you can do good inquiry that has relevance without actually coming from a place. Every research begins from somewhere. And it is our values that determine the kinds of questions we pose. Uh, and very often, it is our values that actually make it sometimes difficult for us to look at our data and realize that sometimes what we are finding is not consistent with what we believe. And if we forget that that element is always part of our work, in my mind, we tend to do shoddy inquiry. 